Reactive training systems. Really early on in my strength training career, uh, people would tell me how important it is to keep a training log. Um, so I did. I kept it in a notebook. Uh, I'm pretty sure I still have all of my training logs since the beginning. Um, I just kind of had a feeling that they would be useful at some point, I suppose. Um, but that's something that I've just always done. And it's something that you've probably always done as well. Uh, we tend to promote the use and, and the keeping of training logs uh, pretty ubiquitously in strength sports. Um, I'm in favor of that. I absolutely think you should keep a training log. But the way that most people keep training logs, even the way that I kept training logs for a long time, is not terribly productive. The role that I see for a training log is that it should help you make a better training decision. If it's just a thing that you keep because you think you're supposed to and you never refer back to it and it never adds anything to your training, then I don't see the point. Um, I would much rather you keep a training log uh, if you're able to get something out of it. Um, and it turns out that you can get some really, really great information out of it as well. Uh, one of the things that that I like to do with uh, training logs is, is I like to use them to help me uh, predict training weights. Um, by looking at what you did last time and what you plan to do this time, it's pretty easy to figure out you know, approximately what weight uh, is it going to take for you to, um, you know, to hit your rep and RPE targets. And I think that's a super useful thing uh, to look at. It's, uh, it helps you put the right weight on the bar and lift it the right number of times. And after all, I mean, that's the point of training as a whole, you know. So if you can do that, then that's where you want to be. Another thing that uh, a good training log can help you do is to figure out what is producing the best results for you. Now this one's a bit more difficult and this is something that I never was really able to do with paper training logs or even some of the basic Excel training logs that I built over the years and even some of the complicated Excel training logs I built over the years. Um, the way that we've been able to do this more recently has been uh, by leveraging our data in a little bit of a different way. So since we've got our online training log on the RTS website, uh, we built a tool uh, in the reporting section called a block review. Um, so just a quick aside on the RTS training log. If you don't know this already, uh, RTS offers a free online training log to anybody who wants one. Uh, you just go to reactivetrainingsystems.com. You log in, and you click on apps, and you're there. Uh, there are web applications uh, so that you can use them from any browser and uh, you can keep track of your training. Uh, it's an a incredibly flexible tool. It does all the things that I think a training log should do. Um, and one of those things is the block review, like I mentioned. Uh, so once you have some training in there, um, it's important to run block reviews on your training log periodically whenever you finish a training block. So whenever one of my athletes finishes a training block, I'll go into their profile and go to the reporting section and run a block review on the training block that they just finished. And then when it comes time for us to write a training block that leads them into nationals or whatever the major competition would be, I can start pulling those block reviews and it's very easy for me to see what produces the best results for their training. You start looking at block reviews and say, ah, for the squat, you know, this training block, this one, and this one were the best. So what, what do those training blocks have in common? You know, what intensities were trained? Uh, what rep ranges were trained? What exercises were used? And so on. Uh, how much volume was done? How much stress was done? Uh, you can get a really good idea of that by looking at these block reviews. Uh, and based on that, I've been able to determine, you know, better than any other point in my career, what works best for my lifts as well. Um, and it's led to more progress. So right now I'm focusing my uh, powerlifting efforts on the bench press, and it's led to more progress on my bench in you know the last six months than I've had years previously. 
So it's a really powerful tool. It's something that I've found out things about my lifters that I never would have found out other ways. Uh, I've got one lifter who just doesn't seem to respond at all to high intensity work, which is kind of a weird thing for a power lifter, if you think about it. But he's a really strong guy. And whenever we do high intensity work, uh, his results kind of fizzle. Um, and that was always a frustrating thing to us before. And it led to a lot of, you know, the sub ideal competitions. But once we started figuring this out and like, Hey, the training blocks that you really respond best to are actually in the medium rep range, you know, and it's not just lower intensity. It's actually that medium rep range that he needs. And that's a detail that we wouldn't have found out other ways. And by looking at these block reviews, so then we can string together some successful training blocks. And we've actually gone into competition uh, doing nothing but rep work, uh, nothing less than six reps. Uh, and we'll go into a competition, we'll base our attempt selection off those estimated maxes, and he's done fantastic, set huge PRs uh, once we started going with this approach. So it's definitely something worth looking into. Uh, it's the best way to figure out what works best for you. So I'll just kind of leave you with that. And once again, if you're not familiar with the uh, RTS training log, it's free for anybody to use. You don't have to be, you don't even have to train in a RPE style. If you train using some other style, that's totally fine. So the way that you get to it, you just go to reactivetrainingsystems.com. You click, uh, first you log in and then you click on apps and you're there. Uh, the on-screen tutorial will help you with the rest. There's a lot of detail there. There's a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of features. So uh, take a look at it. I'd love to know what you think. Reactive Training Systems.